welcome back to sync with sara today i'm filming another one of those videos which i would have absolutely killed for a year ago study tips seriously sara you can find them anywhere no most of these tips are actually directed towards 11th graders because i feel like nobody in this world is as lost as 11th graders because i think first of all you choose a stream your subjects change the level of the subjects substantially increases so if you're studying economics in 10th you are studying credit and the sectors of economy and what not but in 11th you suddenly are studying curves and producers equilibrium consumers equilibrium and don't trust me this is all going to be so easy to you in a year or two but right now this seems like the most complicated thing ever that's why i'm here i'm going to play big sister for another video to help you out because i feel like a small youtube video which answers your basic questions like what to do how to do can also help out and if you are in a younger grade or older i don't know like 8th 9th 10th then this video will be equally helpful to you but i don't think as a 9th grader i was as focused to watch a video on studies but if you are then hey you're on the right path without further ado let's just get started before i even begin with the real advice my first advice is chill out especially if you're in 11th grade you cannot start studying the book the day your books get here and get the hang of every subject and finish a couple of chapters in each subject because your parents are saying get ahead of the class it'll all get so overwhelming for you because you're not understanding anything even the subjects that you thought you were really really good at and you will get the hang of it but you need a little bit of planning for that and that is what i'm going to help you with i am going to start by answering the simplest question and the most frequently asked one and that is how to study where to start trust me if you're in a new class opening the book and reading the chapter will not help okay because that is not how it works you won't understand a single word and that is why my recommendation to you is start by watching a youtube video on that topic people think youtube videos are just meant for revision purposes you know to go through once uh, you are done studying no it is really really helpful if you begin by watching a youtube video get a summary of the chapter and then when you read it you start understanding everything and that is why you start with by watching youtube videos and if you're an 11th grader you probably don't even know any youtube channels about the particular subject i am a student of commerce and applied maths so i know for a fact there aren't many uh, youtube channels for applied math you can comment down below i'll send the links to you personally people see the little bit of maths and economics and then get really flustered by it in 11th standard trust me You will get 90 plus if you just watch YouTube videos on economics and read the chapter yourself. The most obvious suggestion I'm going to give you for studying and learning better is write notes, you know. The thing is, uh, I've seen people write notes by copying the definitions or the topics from the book or from the video they're watching or the board whatever. I don't get the purpose of that. You can come back to the book again, you can come back to the video again. rather write in your own words you know once you understand you can write everything in your own words and because it is written in your own words it will be much easier for you to learn it up later and you probably already learned it up because you were thinking while writing i'm not even going to lie i wrote loads of notes in 10th grade because i knew i will have to come back to it but in 11th grade i just could not get myself to write notes what i do instead is i actually write on sticky notes and stick it all around my book my wall whatever anything i know i cannot get back to again or i've come up with a good definition i just write it on sticky notes i think it has better helps my small attention span honestly okay this is nice this year we got to make sure that we are an academic weapon not a victim and the best way to do that is stay organized and In plus two, I got many books which were so thick that they make me want to cry. Uh, so I got many sticky, small sticky notes which I have stuck on pages where there are important definitions, imp- new chapters, whatever. It helps me stay organized, and uh, I also feel a little smarter. In one of my videos, I said that I do a lo- I do journaling and write all the things I have to do, and I said something like this. But the truth is, I can't do anything related to studies. on paper pencil okay i know for a fact that i will never go back to it and i'm going to completely forget about it so what i do is i have this reminder app on my phone okay and i set up all the things that i have to do today like eco homework maths homework copy submission uh, accountancy pending work whatever and then i set a timing okay 
that is my goal time and it sends me a message at that time it is really helpful because not only does it pressure me to complete the work but also i know how much time i have for each subject how to remember things now that is a really big problem because i feel like in 9 10 11 12 you are expected to mug up everything especially in subjects like english you need to have the chapters learnt up line by line for ASL and all that. I always have these things <laughs> mugged up word by word and people are always asking me how I do that. And it sounds very stupid, okay? Uh, but I read the chapter and then I explain it to my viewers uh, who are listening to me talk as like, you know, in an interview or a vlog, it really helps. You can act like you're talking about that topic and trust me, you're going to have it learnt up within five minutes, actually five minutes. This advice is honestly the best and that is once you're done studying the particular subject, okay, you have a test tomorrow of two chapters, call up your friend when you're done studying at 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever, and do a quiz. You're going to catch something you 110% missed. I do this every time I have an exam, a test, and I usually miss out so many things and i'm like oh that was there too and then she's like oh yeah it was in a box in the corner yeah if you don't have friends this is your cue to make new friends now while we're on topic of quiz friends whatnot do i think group studies help no i do not think it helps you if you're studying the topic for the first time because then i feel like none of you are getting anything on call or in person and then you just start gossiping and exchanging tea that you haven't heard before. I think it will really help you if you already have a little bit of concept of the chapter or if you've already watched a YouTube video on it or if you've already read through the chapter once, you will start feeling so confident. They'll explain a little bit to you, you'll explain a little bit to them. You know, you can take turns explaining. I do this every night before the exam with my friend. We call each other up and we take turns explaining everything to each other. But then, and that depends on how you study. Some people study better under pressure a night before the exam, so then this is not feasible for you. This advice sounds the most generic, but personally, I think it is one of the most important ones. And if I would have heard this or saw this on YouTube like two years ago, I would have been so pissed because usually people do not explain this properly. But I will because I'm here to play the big sister to set goals and make goals. Now, what I mean over here is that you are so distracted that you cannot complete any topic. Every 10 minutes you're getting to get us getting up to get a snack or you're talking to your mom or you're on a call with a friend or you're going to take a bath. You cannot study like this. This is not effective studying. You know what you need to do? It is to set goals, meaning I will only get up to get a snack once i'm done reading this chapter or i will only go to take a bath when i am done with these sums so i usually do not need to write up a to-do list in front of me to focus on it but if you do then write write on a sticky note stick it on your wall or set a rem set a reminder on your app mom just came in to give me an orange and i was i'm out of study type so i asked her one and according to her um food is a good study tip because she thinks that eating good food and nutritious food is what helps a student study which i agree with during boards i was obviously always at home and studying and my mom would always be bringing me food and snacks and just things to eat if you're hungry you will realize that you can never focus in school in the fourth period which is you know like the period right before the break because you're hungry and obviously brings us to the end of this week's video uh even if you pick up a couple of tips from this video trust me this will help you change your routine for the better and once again can we just take a minute before we end the video to appreciate my clutch look it's a furry yellow clutch and my friend gave it to me and she thinks it looks like the fur of a dead chick i don't think it's that deep i think it's just really really cute yeah okay anyways <laughs> anyways if you enjoyed my video then like share subscribe and comment and see you guys in a bit bye